the majority of the major supplies of membranes in New Zealand have been covered by appraisal. The process that a brand's appraised membrane goes through is a very thorough one. The most important part of the appraisal process for a roof exposed roofing membrane is confirming the 15 years durability requirement as required by the New Zealand Building Code. While these membranes have a long history of use uh, in Europe where they are manufactured or in the States, the UV levels in those countries are a lot lower than the UV levels in New Zealand. I think I read somewhere recently that the UV levels in New Zealand are two to three times higher than the recommended levels for a white-skinned European. So while some of the company's products have accelerated weathering, which is the machine that you can see in front of me, uh, a lot don't. So as part of the appraisal process, we will expose them in this machine. What we do is we obviously put samples in. You have a, a special UVA lamp on the side. Those lamps only last uh, 400 hours before they need to be replaced. We take the sample and we put it in. In this case, we're putting in a, it's a torch on. And this is a, a cap sheet, as you can see, because it has the granule finish on the top. It's pretty well naturally protected from ultraviolet because the granules are a natural slate. But still, it's the bitumen underneath that takes the real hammering from the, the heat and the light. We put them in the machine for about 7,000 hours, which is 14 months. That is two thirds of the 24 hours is exposure to heat and light and one third of the 24 hours is exposure to um, just moisture and darkness. An hour in this machine doesn't replicate, or was not exactly as an hour outside, but history says that 7,000 hours, if the product is as good as it was when it went in, you can sign off on a minimum 15 year durability requirement. In the final stages of the brand's refurbishment, this is in the top of the Totra building. There's membrane being used in, in all of the gutters, both in this building and inside the gutters on the Rimu building. It's and quite it's a common practice with metal roofs to use um, to have big formed gutters. It's easier to form them out of membrane than it is to use out of metal. Uh, this particular membrane is the same one has been used on the roof. It's an EPDM based product, uh, but a lot, there's a, all plenty of other membranes styles that can be used to do the same thing. This is a, an E2 AS1 acceptable membrane being applied onto this roof. It's an EPDM based and they are glue applied. This roof itself is quite a complex roof so it will take about a week to lay. A roof of a similar size would only take two to three days. Another one of the really nice details on this roof is the water diverter. The idea of course the roof is, is pitched under the gutter uh, potential problem areas are always behind the, this detail, so water can pond and sit in there. So these water diverters just mean that they just spreads it and gets it away as fast as you can, down to the gutter and away off the roof. Um, these are becoming a much more common detail now uh, as people realise the, the, the issues, especially with the amount of um, roofs now with skylights and things coming through them which can provide areas for water to get trapped. So this is really, really good. Oh, and hey, and here's the the roof we're standing on completed. If you need any more information, go to the www.brands.co.nz and it's all on there.